H E L L O. Hello. Who am I? That's a funny question. You see, I'm a smiley face on a stick. But for right now, pretend I'm anyone. A friend, a sibling, an enemy, a person you envy, maybe even you. So, why am I here? To share, to clear the air, to introduce you to the elephant in my room. He's always watching me, making me doubt my every move. Maybe this concept is new. Or perhaps you've experienced it too. This is the elephant's name. He plays the best wicked games. What makes his game so good? He makes me think I'm no good, that there is no good, that I will never be good enough for who, for you, for me. I struggle to believe the good things others say to me, about me, but first, let's learn about me. I am blessed. God, he gave me the best clothes he wants me to wear, gifts he wants me to share. I'm a cheerleader, high achiever, big dreamer. I have it all together, whatever all of it means, prepared for all different weather. But... It doesn't feel how it seems. Behind the veneer, under the smoke, in the mirrors is a place full of fear so severe I hear a voice telling me that I suck, that I'm just here because of luck, that I'm not qualified, I don't deserve that prize, I don't know what I'm doing, and that this is the only true thing. I am a fraud. The elephant tells me that I am a fraud. But... Am I? Maybe. I mean, every time I write a poem, it reads like a crime. I don't like the way I rhyme. I don't like any of the lines. Whenever I create, I rate it. Was it great? I ask the same questions like a tape on endless loop. What did you think? Did you like it? How did I do? I search for others' approval in hopes it'll spark some kind of renewal, a removal from self-doubt that hunts me down. I hunt for seeds to grow a good view of myself. But when I find them... I don't believe. They grow and drop dead leaves, and all that's left is me. Me and the elephant. He invades my comfort space, makes my heart race in places where I should feel calm. He takes hold of my passions and makes me create rations of the things I love to do, what I'm supposed to do. He doesn't want me to be seen by you. He wants me to hide put my lamp under a bushel basket to kill my light and bury it in a casket, never to be seen again. Again, all that's left is me. I have to fight, not extinguish my light. It's all up to me. The elephant tusks turn into horns in this horns of who I'm really dealing with. But now I'm dealing the cards and that's just it. I am good enough because God made me. Validation from others won't save me. I am not a fraud. I'm a light. The elephant is wrong and I am right. I am me. There's a person behind the face. Some people won't get it. That's okay. But if you get what I have to say, maybe you can relate. On the outside, I'm great, and on the inside, I'm never enough, but I hope knowing this is enough. The elephant stops winning the moment you acknowledge he's there. Let him see that you care more about what God wants you to bring than staying in the elephant's hiding. If you're the person behind that smiling face, there is a way to escape. And it all starts with you.